Hi, Rich Ferguson here with a Real Estate Made Simple tip. Do you happen to have a rental property or maybe even your own property that has a chain link fence running along the whole thing and it's not really attractive? Well, I have a secret tip for you for under 50 bucks that'll let you redo your entire yard. I've made a small mock-up for you. So imagine the ending product looking roughly like this from, obviously, the basic rusty metal pipes that you see in a lot of yards. So let me show you the products you need to make this come together. You're just gonna need to get yourself some standard six inch fencing board, redwood, and then you're going to fabricate a way to attach it using some conduit clamping. I happen to have one inch and one and a quarter inch clamps. Now what's interesting is the one inch actually measures one and a quarter and the one and a quarter actually measures one and a half. So there might be a little bit of experimentation on your part to figure out what you need. In addition, I got a box of number eight uh, screws, a three quarter inch and one inch, which are gonna screw in from the back of the clamps into the wood. And I'll show you up here what I've done. Very, very simple. From the back side, you can clearly see I've used the ducting clamp here to go around the pipe and it just screws right into the back of the board. That's it. Now you want to just be careful that you get a screw that doesn't go through to the front where you see it from your yard. And uh, that's about it. So you can use some resourcefulness on your part to determine what size clamps you need and how long of screws you need. I've showed you what I've needed for this particular uh, construction right here. But that's essentially it. Now there's another little detail you might notice right here. The top of the fence has these little, little uh, risers with the hole in it for the pipe that goes along the top. And it causes the top board to stick out just a little bit. But the advantage of that is from our side, from the yard side for this rental, is it actually gives a nice reveal and it looks actually really attractive. So each application might be a little different, but this is just showing you how you can uh, think outside the box and be resourceful to use products that aren't intended for what they're used for to do something really attractive and a, as a really great, simple and affordable fix for your yard. Here's one more little detail to save you a little bit of time. Be sure that you put your clamps that are going to go on the boards that run vertically on first. Put them around because once you have the board here, let's say like this, from the back side it may be hard to position those in. So it's easy to put them on first and then you can throw these boards on right on top and then from the back side screw them in. What I'm going to do is put all the boards up leaning along here first. I'm going to have them sticking up and then I'm going to be putting the boards across horizontally afterwards, sizing them in perfectly and then after all that's done I'll be cutting off these extra pieces. So that makes the job super fast. I'm guessing this whole entire project is going to cost under 50 bucks and take about two hours. Okay, well, we have done the halfway point. We've measured the distance between the post and did the boards halfway, roughly. And so now all we have to do is measure the exact amount that's left, cut those, throw them in, and then we'll cut those tops off and we'll show you the finished product. All right, well, you can see where they have a seam in the middle here. And as they go along, they're all connected. And all there is left to do is just chop off this top riser. And you may want to go straight across. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to go straight across. Or you can have a nice little reveal, like a, a fence post. But I really like how this naturally has a little bump here, just because of the design of our fence. It ends up having a nice little reveal. So that's it. And I'll show you the finished product here in about 10 minutes. Well, here you go. Super, super simple. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it becomes useful for you. If you have a rental and you're trying to spruce it up a little bit on a budget, or you just don't want to waste a lot of time or money, it takes a long time to put in a, a large fence, but uh, taking advantage of the existing steel pipes is kind of a way to go. I'll go along the back side of the fence and you can see how it's all done now. You see the straps here in the corners and how it's on there. That's pretty straightforward. So this is what it looks like from the back, completely done. And I'm going to go around to the front and show you what that looks like. So here we are with the finished product and you can see it's a whole heck of a lot better than looking at a chain link fence. enjoy the real estate made simple video that we put together for you uh, please subscribe to our channel and we look forward to making more real estate made simple videos just for you thank you so much and let me know if I can help you out with any other real estate needs bye